Safe Stop My Pete's Garage. Now recently I was working on a car and I was installing a new touch screen uh, receiver with Bluetooth and steering wheel controls, taking the old one out and putting the new one in. And I was also installing a backup camera, uh, just like this. Now this is a backup camera. They come in, they come in uh, a variety of shapes and sizes. This one happens to mount on the license plate bracket and then it runs through the trunk to the head unit. Uh, they have kinds that stick on, all different kinds, but this one mounts the license plate bracket. And while I was installing this, the instructions that came with this are, were vague at best. The wiring diagram was incomplete. So I went online to try and search for some information on how to properly hook it up. And I really couldn't find any, so this is why I'm making this video. Okay, so here's the deal. On the back of your receiver, you'll have a video input here. And this is the video input going into the receiver. Out of that comes this red wire. And this red wire is what tells the uh, receiver to switch to video mode. That gets hooked up in your harness. In your harness there should be something, you see this one is marked reverse? This one is marked reverse. So when you step on the, when you put your car in reverse, power goes to the camera, turns the camera on, and when the camera goes on, it automatically switches to the camera mode. I just have the camera pointed up. So that's what turns the camera on. Make sure you hook up this power wire that comes from the video input to the radio. Hook that up to something that indicates reverse power so that it knows to go into the video mode for your reverse camera. So the camera that goes on the back of the license plate needs power and that power will come from the back where you just tie off on a ground and then you can take the positive and run it and tie it right into the harness to the backup light. So when you put it in reverse, the backup light comes on and it gives power to the camera. The camera mounts discreetly right behind the license plate. You can hardly even notice it. Now with everything all buttoned up, when I put it in reverse, when the tail light goes on, it puts power to the camera and our backup camera should come on. And there we have it. It's a pretty nice picture. Works out really well. It's infrared so it also works at night. It also has the uh, lanes here and you set the red just in front of the rear bumper so you know when you're getting close. But it's a, a nice picture. Now here's a little tip for you. Whenever you're doing audio work or doing work behind a dashboard or running wires all the way to the back, it's going to take some time so give yourself a few hours and take your time and run the wires nice and neat. And make sure you have everything hooked up, make sure the camera is working, make sure everything is working before you put all the panels back on. So if you put a panel back on and pinch a wire, you know exactly where it happened and you won't spend hours searching for a problem. I hope that helps you out. Thanks for stopping by Pete's Garage.